Today, I thought it would be fun to try to build a house that was 3,000 smoleons versus 30,000 smoleons and just see what we're capable of with both of those prices. But before we get started, I would like to thank Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring today's video. You can click the link in my description to check it out right now. Disney Dreamlight Valley is a multi-platform live simulation adventure game that puts you at the center of the journey to discover the source of the forgetting. But what's super exciting is they are leaving early access and releasing their very first expansion. Disney Dreamlight Valley, A Rift in Time. Available right now. They were kind enough to give me a beta version of this to play with and I was thriving. It's basically like a whole new game. You travel to a new place called Eternity Isle where you meet and interact with Jafar to see what went wrong here. There is a whole new storyline happening here. New shops to open, new stalls to open, new restaurants to open, a whole new land to decorate and make your own. Your house can be here. There are some new villagers, including Eve, Rapunzel, Gaston. There's a new tool called the Royal Hourglass, which has its own story and mystery behind it. Instead of Dreamlight, here you have Mist. There's a new mini game called Scramble Coin, which you can play with your villagers. There's even a new crafting station called the Time Bending Table. I was having so much fun exploring and unlocking new things in this new area, and I cannot wait for everyone else to get their hands on it. It's so much fun. This game has come such a long way since the very, very beginning, and now it is going to be officially out of early access and with a new DLC. Available now. If you'd like to check it out, I highly, highly recommend you do. Click the link in my description right now. And thank you to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so for the first house, we are doing the $3,000 house. This is gonna have to be so, 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 so small. Just to remind you, a starter home is 20,000 and under. I'm not even sure if 3K is possible. Let's just see what happens here. Look, that's already a thousand dollars. Ain't no way I'm getting it that big. Let's delete some of that. I forgot to set the amount for 3,000. Let's start over. I think I had something like this. Okay, so that leaves us with 1,680. That's all I have. Okay, so let's bring this back. We'll do one of these. We'll do the old replace this one trick. Okay. <laughs> it's so little. Oh, it's too small and cute. Oh my God, wallpaper and stuff. I forgot about that. Oh boy. Cause like how cute would this look with like a little porch? If I raise it up by like one, I think they can step onto it without stairs. Probably best if I just don't have one at all. I know it's sad, I know. And this is gonna be sad too, but I'm gonna get one light, just one. So let's get like the cheapest doors we can. 40 is the cheapest door. Look how sad this looks. I guess I could make the walls shorter so the doors don't look as puny cause I can't really afford like that many windows. Cause this is like the cheapest window we could get. And I mean, it's actually not bad. Like this is a nice window. Okay, I've put in everything I need for a bathroom and I'm down to 546 simoleons. That is with no windows and no flooring, no wallpaper, no bed, no kitchen. You can just pee and shower in there. Okay, I had to turn on debug. I'm getting a little desperate. We can get one of these really awful beds for 25 simoleons, which is pretty good. I'm just gonna shove it up against the wall over there. And then we just really need like a functional kitchen. Oh, we are not gonna be able to get a functional kitchen. Now, how is this even possible? I guess I'm gonna have to make the house like overall smaller. So here's what we're at now. So we've got 500 now. The bathroom's like pretty elegant. <laughs> is there a way I can make this smaller? Like I really, I don't think that there is a way. Unless I were to do it like this. Ooh, that's bad, hold on. If I were to, I could make it like thinner. Wait, no, I can't, I can't do that. I'm pretty sure this is like as small as I can make it if I wanna have a shower. And if I wanted a kitchen, I may have to rethink where I put this bed now. Oh boy, oh boy, boy, boy. I could maybe scooch this here. Oh my God, you know what? I really, I really don't know what I could do. Well, see, now the shape of this is just funky and I feel like it should be different. Okay, so maybe if I make it very small, okay, we can sort of have this sort of shape, which is cute. Now I feel like the door needs to go in the middle. We still don't have any windows and we still don't have a kitchen. Is it even possible to have both? Like I'd love to have two. Like that would look so nice. That makes the house look so much less like a prison. And then we need a kitchen. So what if we try to do like, should I move the bed? Oh wait, maybe actually, hold on. I actually think that could be functional. 
I know I could put this over here, but then I'd block the window and then that's my only source of happiness in this house. So I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, I could put one counter. No sink, no stove. The only thing I can think to do is just, again, make the house smaller. And it is getting really, really rough out here. It is so tiny. It's actually really cute, but like, look at the inside. I'm, I'm like 99% sure this is functional, but like, God, at what cost? It's still gonna cover the window, but I mean, what are you gonna do at this point? I can't afford a stove. So my other, oh, well, there goes my plan. I was gonna put in a microwave. At 240? You could make salads. I can get rid of that counter and put down, I don't know, what could I put down? A chair? Yeah, maybe a chair. A trash can? A trash can seems so wasteful in this small environment. You could put a whole chair there. <laughs> I guess they can sit on the bed though. But like, look, I've got this whole space. Seems wasteful to me. What if I put the trash can there? Oh my God, do I put the tiger chair? I can't afford another window. Just one, I could put it here. It looks very, very silly from the back. Not that the rest of the house, actually from the front, it doesn't look too bad, but I could put that there. I do think it gives it a little something. As far as art goes, I'm gonna do a little cheating. Just gonna type in painting, go to rooms. <laughs> oh no, I can't afford the room. I didn't realize it was gonna cost me money to place these down. You know what time it is. School drawings, woohoo. Look how cute that looks. <laughs> oh, marriage certificate. Yes, okay. These are kind of cute. We can also put a uh, baby handprint on here. And in the bathroom, obviously can't afford any mirrors because they're just way too expensive. The cheapest one is $50 and we don't have that. Wow, we could put decor in here. But I feel like something should be on the wall, right? I mean, this thing is $5. It fills up the whole room. It's the perfect size. Keep it, just keep it. It would be cute to have a window right here. Like in a perfect world, I would totally put a window there. It's just like the perfect spot. So I spruce this thing up with some terrain paint real quick. Okay, there's a pathway. You know what, there are palm trees all over the place. Should I put some here? Maybe I'll cover the house in these like debug hedges. Just kind of wrap them around. Okay, so I have like a hole right there that I need to fill. A <laughs> palm tree? It does look kind of silly though. Like how did it get in there? I mean, it's, it's not that bad. I put a little plant in there too. Is that poking through the walls? It gives it some greenery, that's actually good. Okay, I put down some flowers, some debug flowers. I'm gonna put some dirt under those. I mean, okay. Let's just call it what it is. We have 13 simoleons left. Really isn't much I can do. I would have loved to get a little window right there, but as you can see, it's not in the budget. It's possible that there are debug windows. They're probably not functional, but not that I need a functional one for up there, but like, do you think I can make this work? This fake window. Can I size it down? Oh. Saved, dude, saved. Oh, wait, but that means I can add a fake one over here. What if I put a round one like right here? It does stick out and obviously it's not functional, but from the outside, <laughs> well, it's definitely something, isn't it? Okay, that is the 3K house. Now, let's see what we can do with a 30K house. Okay, 30K really isn't that much either. So let's see what we can uh, what we can do. Hold on, I'm being silly. I forgot to make it 30K. I like ran out of money like this. <laughs> there we go. Now we're at 30,000. Now let's do it. Okay, I've got a very interesting shape going on here. Basically you have two bedrooms. This is a bathroom in the middle, kitchen, dining, living room, and then like the entryway. Problem is how am I gonna put a roof on this thing? Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. This was impossible. I'm still not totally happy with it, but I think it's pretty good. The best we're gonna get. I had to add like a little bump out here in order to be satisfied. So now that we have that, let's sort of scooch it back a little bit. We do still have 24,000 to work with, so we're doing pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the necessities like doors, wallpaper, all that stuff before I even add in like a porch and stuff just to make sure I can afford it. Oh shoot, how are you gonna get into that room? Do a little diagonal. That could work. 
Okay, so I've done this little number on the inside. It is really something. Um, okay, so now I will add windows just to make sure that I can afford them. Got all the windows in. Going for like a modern-ish look. Almost like country modern, not like modern modern. And wallpaper time. This is kind of my least favorite part. I feel like I'm bad at it. Okay, that doesn't look horrible. Now I would like to put it up on a foundation. I would really love to do that. I also did put a door back here to come to the backyard because I never remembered to do that. I also might change the color of all these windows to be like a little bit of a darker brown. Oh yeah, those are my babies. Those are my babies. Oh my God, look how good it looks. Are you kidding me? Do you think $30,000 can accommodate all of these? 30,000 is not much more than a starter home. So already I think I've gone a little too big. So we have 21,000 left. This is kind of a big house. I've kind of just been building without thinking about budget. I'm not gonna lie, I think I blacked out. All right, okay, so for wallpaper, I'll try to go cheap. Loving that right off the bat. That is a cheap wallpaper, believe it or not. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the dining room. I may also put the same thing in the kitchen just so it's cohesive. I think I'll put that in there. We have a lot of green happening. And then in here, maybe I'll just do like some solid colors. Maybe like a pinky back there and this is like a purplish. So I think that looks nice. We have 21,000 smolines left. Let's focus on the necessities first. Let's do the kitchen. I would really like for this to be pretty, but it doesn't need to be crazy expensive. That was 1,400. Um, okay, maybe this one? 500, okay, that's what I'm talking about. These are great, because they're so cheap, but these are just a little bit more expensive and just like a little bit cuter. We really could have put another arch going in between, which does make sense. There's a lot of arches. That is a lot of arches. It does make sense though. You have to admit it makes sense. Put a trash can somewhere there, I guess. I am gonna go cheap for the stove. Okay, I don't know if I can get upper cabinets. Like this could actually be a stretch. And also like, do I even want them? I guess I could do like just that wall. That looks pretty cute. Cause then I'm not blocking the window or anything. Okay, so that's that done. Let's go over to the dining room and I'm gonna worry about decorations and all that stuff later. Okay, these tables are expensive. This cheap table is 220 and the table I wanna use is 425. What the heck is up with that? Okay, I do have room to put two chairs at the end. That might be a bit of a stretch though and I would love to get a rug underneath this. Okay, uh, maybe it should be this way. What is, this? okay. Oh. That looks better. I would also love to get some curtains in there, but again, that's not really my job right now. Okay, next, we're gonna do the bathroom. This is a pretty big bathroom. Oh, this house is too big. I think I made this house way too big. Okay, some rooms are just gonna be kind of empty, all right? And that's just gonna be that. Look at this room. Look at how big this bathroom is. Okay, this would be a really cool layout. I like that. It even fills in the space nicely and stuff. We'll put two of these mirrors down. It's not a bad looking bathroom. We filled in the space good. I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and do this bedroom. I feel like I have no budget. Mm, you know what? I just looked at the 15K and thought, maybe I do have a budget. <laughs> like maybe I should just take it easy because this could get really out of hand really, really fast. Okay, we'll go for a little fun rug in here and then I will get a dresser, which I could put here or here. I think I'm gonna put it over here. How much is my mirror? So I like this one, which is 500. That one's great. This one's also good, 395. But the mirror, you know the one. Oh, 700. Oh man, I have been known to have expensive taste. Actually, why don't we do this one? Oh, with the fun stool. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, you know what else I could have done? A desk. A desk with a computer. Oh my God, that would be so good. It'd be good if I could put it like here or something. I've got some room. Here, I'll put down a desk for the idea and then we can come back to it if we have room in the budget for a computer. Cause that's obviously gonna be really expensive. <laughs> it does look a little bit random. Just kind of like chilling out here. Actually, it'd be really good right there. But I th think we're gonna have like all of our living room stuff right here which I can go ahead and put down. Yeah, that's gonna be in the way. Cause I wanna get a fireplace. I know I have a lot of dreams. I've got a lot of big dreams, you know? How much is that? <gasps> 950, oh, but look at this one. It's only 450. Now it's not my favorite, but it will do. How much is this? Oh, what? Uh, three. Who made this $3,000? Oh, 2,500. I'm annoyed. Ugo wins, but I can't believe how much that costs. I'm, all, I'm down to 10K now. 
We lost that money just as quick as we gained it. Okay, it'd be nice to have like a love seat or a couple of chairs over here. I'm gonna throw in some random colors. Problem is I wanna use like an end table here, but I'm really cutting off the space to get into this door. I think it will be fine. It just looks a little funny. Okay, we're gonna put a candle here. A coffee table would be great. Man, we are really close to this fireplace. I'm trying not to take up more room than I need to. Okay, that looks pretty good. I always forget about these clothing racks, but they're so cool. Okay, so I'm just going to do the last bedroom and then we can start doing decor. I'm gonna put the clothing rack in here since I mentioned it before. Now I wanna use it. But it's not a functional dresser, so I do still need a dresser, which I can squeeze in over there. Ooh. Do I like it over there? Maybe I switch these. Yeah, that seems like a better place for this. And then this seems more like a fun sort of, look at my clothes thing. I've got all the basics and I've got almost 8,000 smoleons to spare. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get a computer and I can just get this one. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a little rug here when you walk in the door. Now I need curtains. This is gonna cost me too, cause I'm doing it uh, this way. <laughs> That's gonna be a lot. Okay, as for the ones in here, I think I might just take this one. I gotta line it up and then just raise it up, otherwise it glitches all over the place. There we go, that looks nice. That's it for curtains. We still have 3,000 simoleons left. So I think now is the time where we need to get like decor, art, stuff like that. Oh my gosh, we need some plants in here. Like so badly. We have no plants. I was wondering what was missing. Okay, so I've just been going crazy, adding in like little paintings and plants and things around the house. And I'm only left with 383 smoleons and I haven't even gone to the bedrooms yet. So somewhere along the line, I went a little crazy and I don't know where I went a little crazy. I need to go in here and do some stuff. I did add in a plant in here and some paintings and like one piece of decor, but like, I obviously still have a lot of empty space. I also didn't put in a towel or anything in here, so I guess there's that. I know it's kind of weird to just have like the one painting, but I may just have to like relax for a second. I have this huge wall. I could put a plant and then maybe <laughs> like a painting or something. A bookshelf would be so nice. I kind of blew it though. I don't really have room for one anymore. Like in the budget, I mean. I don't want to delete anything. I barely have anything. Maybe instead of having two of these paintings, I just keep like one. And then that way I can have a bookshelf in here. Lots of choices. See how nice that looks? That just fills up the space so beautifully. And I have 168 simoleons left. So maybe I can throw in a little something here and there. I don't know, maybe a little something there. I can put in the horsey painting. Oh. So with that being said, I totally forgot that I haven't done anything on the outside. Remember that porch I wanted? That is a thing of the past. <laughs> so again, like the first house, let's just like landscape a little bit. Okay, that's looking pretty. It'd be so cute to get some outdoor lights out here though. And I would too have loved to get a fence around this whole thing. And I know I can use a debug one, but God, that's gonna take a long time. I believe I am finished. I have 43 simoleons left. This is my $30,000 house. I mean, compared to the first one, I'm honestly pretty shocked I was able to get this much out of 30K. Two bedrooms, a bathroom, full kitchen and dining room, a computer. I mean, like, you have everything you need in here. But that is gonna be all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Big thank you again to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, you can check it out along with the new expansion pass for a rift in time using the link in my description. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.